Welcome back to the Reptiles with Podcast. Jesus Christ, there's so much going on. There's I so love it. Finally, bro. Yeah, I feel like it's been a little slow, but the drama has started. So, <laughs> um, Darian from Morph Market is trying real hard to cancel fucking Adam from Wikis, Wikis, Wikis. That's crazy. That's insane. Can you imagine cohabbing leopard geckos? That's insane, bro. Like, I... I, I saw the... So, I know that sometimes YouTubers will do clickbait, they'll lie on their thumbnails, whatever. So, I was like, this is another clickbait. A lot of people are just saying stuff right now but uh i guess it is true he is co-having six leopard geckos in an enclosure okay so let's dissect the situation okay he it's was it a sponsored post i think it was sponsored like yeah the post was sponsored not exactly the enclosure i okay. think that's how that worked i think don't quote me on it but i'm pretty sure dubia has something to do with him okay as a content creator the idea the conception of the video was it's building an enclosure from the ground up for free. So he used a lot of like bioactive things, found some sticks, this and that. The enclosure itself, let's rate it. It wasn't a horrible fucking enclosure nah, as far as... Well, I'm saying as far as like... It, for not, Maybe not the context, but it was like, okay, if you're going to throw six leopard geckos in there, it had ample hides, ample places for it to get away from each sure, other. Yeah. Not about the... The, the, the looks, the yeah, because yeah, the looks was terrible. How big was it? <laughs> it was so ghetto, but I mean, that's what... But that's, a, that's kinda, an opinion. That's what he's doing. Yeah. He's trying to make it like as cheap and like accessible. How big was the enclosure? It was a four by two. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was big, but again, it's all air. Yeah. Like... It was like I was just saying, a lot of people got to start making more use out of ledges and yeah. stuff to like create more platforms. A lot of dart frog keepers will do stuff like that. that. Space. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Otherwise, like it doesn't matter how tall the enclosure is. You might as well have just cut it shorter. Yeah. yeah. But whatever. I mean, it was. It, it was okay for what. It, what were the sexes? I didn't watch them. They were all females. Lie. It was a sorority. All females. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Now, then Adam gets roasted about yes. the amount of leopard geckos that were in this enclosure. Ballsy. Ballsy. Just that. Everything. Everything was I thought it was apart. just the leopard oh, geckos. Oh, no. Dude. No. <laughs> no. People are like, you put sticks in there and they're dirty. And then it doesn't affect anything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie to you. The amount of leopard geckos didn't bother me. That's because you keep everything in racks. I mean, oh. it's different. They all, by the way, they also attacked him for that, too. This is about the racks? Yeah. Okay, this is my thing, though. There, we live in a world where people keep an adult breeder female leopard gecko in a sandwich container. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we do live yeah, in that kind of world. world <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a four by two. It had ample space. True. It was for the video. And there's and six of them in you there. Look at how small those animals looked yeah. in there. It had They had space to get away from each other. Yeah. If you're cohabbing, at least that's closer. I will say it's. it feels almost like a step backwards. Like we, everyone in the industry is like promoting better care, better practices, you know, cohabbing is like highly stigmatized now. And now it's like, oh, we're, I'm going to cohab six in an enclosure. It's like, well, all right, well, steep, well, steep. to his point, <clears throat> this is why he did it. It's because he has 15 years of experience. No, so no, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's because of the people that have studied leopard geckos and have gone out have said that whenever they find leopard geckos they find multiple leopard geckos hiding in the same places mm -hmm. you don't find just one you find multiple correct now i don't know whether that is true or not i have not linked i have not looked into that deep but that is his reasoning mm -hmm. and i think that's a fair reasoning yeah i think that is a very fair reasoning because like things like uh toke geckos have been known now to be even more social mm -hmm. than what we thought yeah yeah how about the leopard gecko? Is that a situation with that? I feel like I feel very neutral about the situation just because we don't know much on how they live in the wild and, and that no cohab thing is all within the pet trade. Yeah. And I was it's all it's a pet trade idea, mm -hmm. which is like not exactly wrong in some species, but some species do not need any of that. I, I usually just say that cohabitation is like largely a selfish practice not like you don't have the animal's interest at heart but like you're doing this because you want to do it the animals the, yeah, the most reptiles really that you yeah. cohab don't care to be around others yeah. it's like because yeah. you want to put yeah them but together. if they don't care what is the problem no right and, and i agree i agree i do well, think I six co is a high Bro, number a six is a high number I was like, six That's is a people. high number like i i maybe the number is the problem but i i don't really know so, much like when i think I if worked, it was two nobody would say anything 
No. I think still... if it was four, nobody would have said no. anything. No. Yeah, I no, feel like I four would have been max. Said something I feel like four, four would have been max. People were yeah. freaking out about two. Trust me, dude. Yeah, they would have. They would have. Way too deep but I thought it. people did this all the time, honestly. They do. But just no one's making Ma- not videos most about people. It. I think the big YouTubers are like giving four by two by twos for their single leopard geckos. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, so they they'd see Adam and they're like, no, Adam, stop doing mm. that. You're because going they backwards. Want, they want yeah, they want them their idea of it to be the norm. Yeah. But it's also like. I don't know. Maybe let's say six is a high number, and somebody else tries, and now they're keeping twelve. You know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. like I don't know. I don't know. I get that idea, but at the same time, those are his animals. Yeah, he did his own research on on how they live in the wild, and I respect that yeah, more I than control. I respect I respect the idea of researching something, even when you disagree with it. Then the idea of I heard from, and this is how I learned. Yeah, that's how I, that's I, how I keep feel about rat snakes, it. and most people co have rat snakes. They typically do. Um, I don't, just because sometimes some of mine are different sizes, but at the same time, I'm like, if I can give them their own spaces, why not? I don't think they want to be around the others. It's more just a, yeah, we're, we're getting the same resources. Sure, why not? We're not going to eat each other, whatever. Hey. But it's like, if I can give them their own spaces, why not? There's no there's no harm in that. I don't, if, if, I, if I get canceled, I don't care, but we have Eastern Diamondback, Yellow Rat, and Corn Snake, same enclosure. Mm. Gray Rat, Cane Break, same enclosure. Mm. And the... The cane break, if anything, is more mm-hmm. around the rat snake than any of the others. But they just keep to themselves, come down to drink water. Mm-hmm. Like nothing bad happens. What did oh, you? See? Yeah. What was the zoo that you went to the other day? You had it was that plated lizard with yes. what else? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Oh, plated with African rock pythons. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Beautiful. Um, you have the anaconda and the rainbow boa. Did you see that? I, maybe. I think I, I don't remember. All of what I saw, but yeah. I think the Tampa Zoo used to have multiple species dart frogs with a Bushmaster and has rat fire. snakes up at with the top. Zuris dart frogs. Yeah, that's fire. it. That's it. Yeah. Fire, fire, and fire, I forgot fire. which zoo it was, but I went to one that they had green tree pythons with white tree frogs. The white tree frog was sitting on the green tree python's head. <laughs> so it's like, there's ways you can do it. I love cohabiting. Like, if I can ever, well, I try, but like, if I can actually give them that added. I think it's enrichment when you give them another one of their species to interact hmm. with and to an extent, depending on what it is. Yeah. I think it's good enrichment because it's giving them the opportunity to kind of see and interact with something of their own. And That's even, turtle mentality. And, and, even, yeah. and, even, <laughs> and even if, let's say, an animal is not social, it does not mean the animal does not socialize. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like... You know, in the yeah. wild, it's not like they never see each other, yeah, you know? Like, it. every now and then, they might run into each other, spend a few days together on the yeah, rock. Yeah. And that was one thing that everyone was, like, really, like, going to town on, like, having them that close together. Because people were... Because you can say that, oh, leopard geckos are communal. And then everyone's like, mm, not really. They're in the same area, but they're not always together. But it's like, they're going to come across each other regardless. I yeah. think it's... At it's some a, point. It's a matter of, like... It's like when you introduce new pets to each other. You need to have a, a certain barrier. Zone. Yeah, you need to yeah. have a, a, a period of time that you're always watching them, making yeah. sure they're getting along, all that stuff. Um, and I think sometimes in a tank, that's not feasible. The animals can't really it get away feasible. from each other that much. And, you it know, is. with it, people's experience, people are like, oh, no, leopard geckos are not sociable. But it's because people have tried in 20-gallon tanks, 10-gallon tanks. Exactly. You know, maybe... But people were maybe a six foot enclosure was still too small for even two. Like people were really, yeah. really adamant about that. Which like, but, but, right, but, but, I mean, what, what, why is it too small? Too small what happens? Animal. What happens? That is negative. What happens? In what? They what can't get away it, from each other. What is? Well, they what develop happens? their territories and they don't what want others happens? in their space. The what stress, happens? The competition. stress of being together. Well, competition, the competition on what? What happens? Do they fight each other? Yeah, Do they fight. kill they each can, other? Yeah. They can fight. Stress each other the out. stress of being is, around other geckos. They don't want to come out to get their heat. Does that happen or is that a theory? That happens. It can happen. Yeah. But if does it happen? It yeah, I'd say that happens. But the happens thing is, if this is the thing, though. So properly. it can happen, of course. Anything but can happen. But and that's the thing. That like, you have to attack. watch your animals. That's a part of, of being the keeper. Watch your animals. Yeah. If you're noticing the issues, remove the issue. Yeah. That's the part of knowing what you're doing. That 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 is exactly. I don't. I don't really think that the the hate is warranted for this instance as much as it is, especially to the extent that it is. Yeah. Where Darian goes and he's like, "I'm gonna have to go and watch all the fucking sponsored things that we do now, and I'm gonna oversee it myself because yeah. I don't agree with this." And then yeah. that post is sponsored, so that way it's all over the place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, just I think, a lot, dude. I think like, I think at least Adam is like going research base you know and i think like darian should do the same like if he is wrong why is he wrong what happens and what is the evidence because if if, without evidence like you're just saying words to say words at that point you know what i mean i think if there's no net benefit to the animal 
there's no reason to do it. That's just me. Um, if other people, like, even if it's possible, what about, what, what, what if the net benefit is to socialize because they do socialize? Yeah, that doesn't mean you can't afford them their own spaces. You've seen like there are people who have enclosures where they they disconnect each other from each other, where they have supervised time to interact with each other and move between enclosures, and then for it's the like most play part dates. they're separated. <laughs> I guess like a play date, yeah, because yeah, that's that's how a lot of species interact. They don't live together. They interact with each other in the wild. They come across each other and then they move their separate ways again. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if there's enough areas and they actually have their own territories within the tank, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. The, I don't know the living situation of, of those geckos. How they it's live. It's also about how they... like wild space too. Like how much space does a, a wild leopard gecko inhabit? You know, for the majority of snakes, like they live and die within one to three miles of where they're born. But like that's you that's can't replicate most snakes. You can't replicate say, that. About 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 yeah, about. most snakes. Most snakes. Oh, buddy. Obviously, king cobras, gymnarchon. Yeah, it's, certain species have completely different rules. But German. most snakes, most snakes live within one to three miles of where they're born. That's no tank is that big. You know, so it's like, yeah, they, they have ample space and time to get away from each other if they wanted to. Yeah, but in the same areas where you find one species, you find other individuals of that species very yeah. close to each other. So it depends. Like, we don't know how that, it, like, that's a very specific thing. You could talk about snakes, you could talk about other lizards, but this is mm. a very specific species that we're talking about. What is their social life like? When you find them, how do you find them? If you flip a rock, how many are there every time you flip them? I think what would have been smart is if he did this experiment on his own, off camera. Well, he's going I guess to the no, but like he did this experiment on his own off camera and then recorded the whole thing, all of his experiences, Yo. put down the data, and then put out a video saying, Hey guys, this was my experience with this. That's gonna be fire if he goes to the country and he finds six leopard geckos <laughs> if he in finds like six? a two by two <laughs> area. I was gonna say if he video does that, throws the rock at the camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he finds six leopard geckos in an eight foot square space, all right, fine, fine. Dude, he, if he found them in a three foot square space, that'd be fucking insane. Oh my god! If he finds them in deli cups, ooh, <laughs> he just lifts a piece of bark and he's yo, a deli cup. and it, dude, and it's just sandwich containers like geeky geckos <laughs> yes. creations, yes. lemon frost everywhere. That's yes. so funny. Dude, yo, that'd be crazy. Amazing. That's what's I was happening. I was DMing him like because I was like, huh, I don't know much about this. I tried to look into the how they are found and social like social behaviors. I didn't find much other than. Like, word of mouth shit, you know? So I don't go by that. So I started looking into, you know, like, the websites where you can see them in the wild and stuff. And it was funny because people were just tripping because he has bricks in the enclosure. And people are like, oh, you have oh, bricks? Yes, and I And then, that. like, I sent a picture and it's like a leopard gecko on a brick wall. I was like, yeah. what That's the so fuck funny. is this? It's natural there, bro. Yeah, yeah. The brick grows. <laughs> yeah, like, those leopard geckos are bricked brick up. Tree, literally. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, people were like, the sticks are dirty. Don't put sticks in there. And then I see one picture, there's sticks all over the place and right. the gecko's That's walking hilarious. through. Right, like, with, with love, roast this enclosure for me. Oof. I didn't see it, so I can't say. Okay. I mean, bro, this boy said it was going to be cheap. That thing looked yeah. cheap, bro. Like, it don't look good. It looked good for cheap. But I, I do think... No, not even, I would say. Bro, if you want to go cheap, that's pretty good. I could kill it with cheap. Yes, I, I go too. cheap every day. But oh, you guys should put out a video. I go cheap into every shit, day. For someone who, who's getting into it, bro, bricks is all you I'm not going to lie. Honestly, you, guys, bricks. Nah, you guys bro. should put out videos and say... A better four by two into enclosure oh, we can do for that. cheap for one gecko. That'd be fire. that would be we can do that. That would be that hilarious. Would be hilarious. We can do, that. That we can do it today. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, I gotta get my phone. Bro. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Maybe after the the yeah, sticks were a little wonky. I thought that was the funniest part. You just got a clump of sticks in the middle, but oh, it's all right. That's what they got in Canada. Just sticks. What do you yeah. use as sticks what do you use and as bricks? substrate? Sand uh, or dirt? dirt? Dirt. Okay. Yeah. Just from outside. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. What is he supposed to do? Okay, no, I mean, it's, it's funny. Listen, listen, listen. So, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I understand people like saying their part about sticks are dirty, they need to be oh, sanitized. Like, I get it, okay? <laughs> I get it. In the wild, nothing's clean. There you for go. These okay, animals. That is true. Okay, nothing is clean. Um, at the same time, I do think that there are elements for things that are outside that should not be going inside of an enclosure. You know, you have different particles that can be in the dirt, different things that can eat that dirt and then put on the on the sticks and stuff. That's all possible. That all happens. Um, I don't think it's that big a deal. I don't okay, think okay, okay, hold on, hold on. You need to clean the dirt of your enclosure outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So would we rather six leopard geckos in a four by two or the geeky geckos sandwich containers one by one. Oh my what do we God. prefer? What do I'll we prefer? Take the sandwich Six. containers in the four by two. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I'd rather be Adam in this situation. Okay. Sure. 
And honestly, Adam was getting more it's, hate than that guy. That's I know, so right? dumb. I mean, that's, that's crazy. You know what it is? Know about him though. That's the thing. It, it's a short people thing. I could say that because <laughs> I am short. Is he Man. short? He's taller than me. Then he's. But not that's short. not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not short bro. Um, It's because he likes pickles so much Yeah that is it. People Canadian are shit. like we gotta get him Maybe it's cause he's Canadian <laughs> It's cause he's Canadian we get, dude we it out, Yeah we are North America not you <laughs> <laughs> Whatever dude I don't think it's that deep I think that okay whatever He put six fucking things in a I will say I, I like Darian like Sticking up for what he believes in, he believes in. Yeah, okay, like whatever. it's his platform. Nobody has to be on his platform. He regulates it like, himself. It's his. Yeah, he respect. gets to do whatever he wants with it. Respect. I respect that. <laughs> I, I could respect that. I could. But also, this okay. And maybe this is asking for a little bit much. But like, if you are sponsoring somebody to do something, you mm. should review the 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 thing that's being released. That no, that's just like, nah. You just wait. Hell no. Nah. I'm not sending none of my sponsors my shit before I post or anything like well, that. Well, but that's the thing. Like as a business owner, like you should be like, I need to get approval. That's usually how those things no, go. No, you're wild. So, so a lot of uh, out of the reptile industry, a lot of these sponsors are just like, I need this is the script that you are supposed to read because this you have to follow these guys. Read on that Shadow piece, Legends on that on the on the Shadow on the commercial, not the video itself. I could do whatever the fuck I want. You know what? And that's that's one of the interesting elements. Is like did. Do be a sponsor. Him saying that, like, no. did they know about this video going to no. come out? No, obviously not. You know, like, we sponsor, sponsor Adam. We like is. what Adam does. Yes. We're going to well, support his content. But this is the, the point of the sponsors, all right? We have a dope-ass sponsor. Mm. A coffee sponsor. Yeah. This is the Reptiles with Adam. <laughs> this is just, I'm going to drop it right here. The Reptiles with Coffee. You can buy it on modernreptileshop.com. So <laughs> we also have a bunch of fucking merch that's released that's fucking awesome. So you should definitely support the boys so we could actually do this documentary that we haven't started. But yeah. we're, we're getting there. Anywho, uh, other than that, do we have any final words for our Ooh. boy Adam in Canada? Um, you're about to take some heat. I love it. Um, just because it starts some debate and some conversation on a subject that is very important. Um, a lot of people have that old head mentality mm -hmm. and just the idea, like ideas without research and ideas without facts and ideas without understanding what the animals live like in the wild. And I hope this pushes people to try and learn more even though it's just leopard geckos and i don't really give a fuck what There's if he's wrong learn with leopard geckos. Huh? what if he's wrong what if these geckos aren't social at all they just what all die they just, yeah they just all die <laughs> they all kill each other in that enclosure bro people have done this so many times they're not gonna kill each other but the point is people will look into it facts will come out and hopefully we learn from it and we evolve in whichever direction it is maybe it's towards adam maybe it's away from adam whatever it is it's i think growth. adam you record the experiment first Come up with the observations. I don't think, and it, then post no. the video. I don't think it's an experiment. That's the thing. That's an experiment. No, it's not. He, he just, That's how he normally keeps them. Yes. He, he said. He said. He said he on. Clubs his leopard he said on his story. He's been oh, okay. talking about these things and doing things this way for the last five years. Okay. So it's not like new Adam. No, this is just Adam. <laughs> okay. okay. Hmm. All right. So it's not an experiment. That's just how he keeps. Okay. Now Whatever. he wants to go to like Pakistan or India, wherever the hell it is. That Probably cool. Afghanistan. I think it's Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan. Yeah. yeah. To go see them. Yeah. So. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I enough. think yeah. people need to chill out. I get the sentiment. A lot of the people complaining. At the end of the day, it is kind of true because it is in the in the animal's favor, uh -huh. giving them the world. Um, but at the same time, like, people really go way too far on this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the pet trade has their way of doing things. Yes, does it work? Yes, is it very sanitary? But it's... I don't want to say, like, it's not needed because that information is good. And it really does help animals, like, thrive. Um, just, just chill, you know? It, leopard geckos are popular for a reason. What I don't it, think all What is it that Tiki says? It's just geckos, chill, bro? <laughs> it's yeah. just geckos, bro. <laughs> chill out. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I mean, I well, what Chuck said, I like how it's going to spark a lot of controversy and make people talk about it. Yeah. Because um, I do think a lot of the pet people, especially with the leopard geckos, they're very like to the T about everything. The YouTube channel Leopard Gecko made a video. I want to see that. I haven't. I watched it. Yeah. yeah. It's very meticulous. Good hearted. She's pretty respectful and nice about it all. Um, but it's basically that. Just very being very nitpicky and, you know. The, the whole thing about having a four by two by one gecko is even too small or something like that. Not they shouldn't say it was too small for one, but it's just like even having two in there. Like, oh, I couldn't imagine having two in there, stuff like that, which is what a lot of people are going to be thinking going into that because yeah. that's just and the space community. wise. I understand that argument of yeah. like you could put six together, but like the space mm -hmm. maybe that's a thing, maybe it's not. I don't know, but whatever. I get the idea. I do th six is too a lot. 
it's a lot. It is. Six is <laughs> we'll a lot. Say six is a lot. Six is a lot. It's like I disagree. There, right? But that's also coming from someone who's got six turtles in one thing. So uh, damn, yeah. roasting himself. Anyway, yeah, so before you guys do on the topic of cancellation, they also tried to cancel uh, Chris from Garden State Tortoise over a video that I'm pretty sure it got taken down. I couldn't find it again. I couldn't find it. It got taken down? I think so. I think it did. What happened? Down. What happened? No, uh, no, he can take it. He probably deleted it or like removed it from the So place. it's a video. I guess uh, he had two box turtles that escaped in his car or something like that. Yeah, I think it, it was, was either it was a rescue situation. He was moving them. He found them, whatever. They were in boxes in his car. They're turtles. They got out yeah, of the boxes, yeah. and then they were interacting with each other. Yeah, they he filmed them face to face. One of them bit the fuck out of the other one, like straight, whatever, like oh, right the, in the, the face. And the yeah, was this like a YouTube video or was like a story? What happened? I don't remember if no, that was it. He was just saying like, what oh, the fuck is, is the problem? He was saying like, oh, this is male box turtle actions, like interacting with each other, like combat. Like if I recorded snakes combating Mike. each other, it was like that. Mike. Uh, in his car. Inside his car. Yeah, inside his car, because he was moving them, and they got out of the boxes that he had them in. You know, so it's like, okay, interactive uh, experience, educational You know moment, what I you know? love I get about it. that scenario? It, it's the, it's the, <laughs> Chuck, the irony. What does Chuck want to say? Irony? What do you, you want to say? You talking about, they're, they're wild? I, they were wild? I don't know. I they don't were, know. It, why does that matter? There were two box turtles, they were in the back of his car, that's the context <laughs> for the video. One of them bit the other one. Yeah, and God. then everybody got upset. Yo, you're, you're very, you're the, very like, charged listen, right now. Listen, listen, listen. If there are, are you wild upset turtles, too? you think that's the worst thing that they're worried about? Oh, no, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's crossing them. He that's said that like maybe a, say. maybe a car was going to run him over. I'd rather them. But, okay, but we, okay. I don't, I don't think that video had that much context. I don't think uh, it needs Why are people talking shit and not asking because, questions instead? Because they were, they probably were like, oh, he should stop them. He should separate them. Not get out of phone think and record Get the zookeeper? Is that what they want? Get the zookeeper? I think it was more like, why would you film this? You could have prevented it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I was agree. Was it a bad disagree. bite? No, it's on the shell. The more, it's the, a turtle. Oh. It's a bad <laughs> no, bite. They do it that in the, the shell. wild. They do that in the wild. It was the shell. 100% it was It wasn't the shell. It was the shell. Did you watch the video? Yes. I haven't seen I it. I saw the video. I saw the video. It was the shell. It wasn't the shell. Yes. It, what was it's it? It's the same spot. Look, all box turtles. It? or Not all box turtles, but a lot of male box turtles Where was it? have that spot. trying to kiss him in the mouthpiece, dog. No. A lot of box turtles, if you look out in the wild, they have that chunk missing. And it's because they do that in the wild. Granted, I don't that think turtle, it feels good, but that that's what happened. That turtle was abusing the other turtle, <laughs> and this man filmed it and put it out for the world to see. No, I think it's it, it's educational. It's like if you see it's education. Yeah, yeah. If I you mean, see two bro, snakes listen. fighting each other, I'm not gonna get in that. I'm gonna listen, record that. Bro, like, listen, Look at that. Listen. That's cool. Listen, bro. If this guy like had a box, cut out the bottom, put it on the floor, and made it like a ring, and put yeah, the two yeah, tortoises or the turtles same in there, and they got into a fight, I get it. Fuck that yeah, guy. That's not the same. He thing. was trying to. Come on, bro. They got out of yeah. the fucking box and they He's got to working, Garden State Tortoise literally does nothing for conservation. And okay. then he goes out there <laughs> and he fucking films uh, this. Uh-huh. How could he do that? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't do anything for conservation. He's, he's sarcastic. He's being no, sarcastic. I, this whole time has been sarcastic. Yeah, he's joke. lying. I can't fucking tell. <laughs> I just think it's funny, funny how we I just think... came from the leopard gecko situation about this is terrible. There's six geckos together having fun. And the turtle situation, bro. Uh, it's completely different. Completely turtle different. people just don't give a fuck. Because that's the thing. He didn't intentionally put them together yeah, to fight. Yeah, I know. It's not like a cock fight. Yeah, I know, no, but I, no. It's funny, like, the I way good turtle fight. people react to that, their shit going wrong and how everybody else reacts to their shit going wrong. Because, like, for me, if I see the turtles, like, roughhousing outside or something, I'm just like, I just poke them with a stick and that's the end of it. Uh, I don't, like, take them away or anything like that. Because, yo, that's, that's what they are do. Are you poking with a stick, bro? Check <laughs> yeah, the fuck just, out before you get, get canceled, bro. I don't want to get bit. Honestly, try. bro, if I see, I keep we walking around, I see two gopher tortoises going at it, I'm going to look at them like, that's crazy. Keep yeah, moving. yeah, that's crazy. Like, it's the wild. If that he's happens. moving, if he's moving like wild turtles, I'm sorry. Like, it is what it is. That's what they did. If they're not and they got out of the box and they got into yeah, it, yeah. he didn't put them out to fight. They just got into a fight. And, haha, funny. Talking about uh, wild turtles, wasn't there like a turtle smuggler? There situation? was. Oh my God. Yeah, what here was in Florida. What, what was that? What Omni was that? something. Omni reptiles. This guy. I found his Facebook and everything. Krusty. Uh huh. Um, he was caught trying to smuggle native turtles out to uh, foreign markets, Hong Kong, China. And it's like, dude, uh, three, three stripes were mentioned by name. Three in the stripes, yep. bro. Yo, she got something to do with that? Three stripes. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just Alleged. sad. It's just so sad. I yeah. hate it. If you look at his like Instagram and stuff, he's got like all different kinds. He's got like I actually sent it to you guys. He has he has insane turtle morphs, like oh, yeah, stuff yeah, that yeah. I didn't even know. It's always existed. the morph, like people, an albino bro. terrapin. Did you see the albino terrapin? Yes, I did. Or a piebald terrapin. 
No, pie piebald striped mud turtles. Piebald striped mud turtles. What? Yes. Yeah, I yeah. didn't see that. In, I was like, that's insane. That's crazy. Still, no smuggling. Don't smuggle wild animals. But like, dude, you could have. But you if you're gonna do it, no, 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 no. You're saying no right now. I was like, you could have stayed with this. I don't like morphs, but you could have stayed with this. You didn't have to freaking try to make money off in other places. And then but yeah, he got what he And then wild turtles, poaching wild turtles to sell for the pet trade. This is when I say people care more about animals in boxes than they do in the wild. What if they get out of the boxes and they bite each other? <laughs> <laughs> what if there's six of them together in one thing? <laughs> in one box. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Well, you ain't wrong. But you know what I mean. I like, think it's, it's the boxes. It's, it's the boxes. Up. I think that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. And because Fuck of people guy. like that, then we get all these laws passing mm-hmm. and yeah. people coming at us. And then we There's have a new law that's going on now. With that US starts trying to fight no, with the Louisiana thing. In Louisiana, yeah. 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 What, what was that proposal about an so enclosure actually, space? Yeah, it's about size enclosure. Uh, enclosure size requirements for That's snakes fire. all snakes fire yeah this is all snakes it has to be the length has to be two-thirds the length of the snake and the the short part i guess if it's not a square if it's a bin yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> has to be one-third the length of the snake hell yeah so if you've got like a nine foot snake the long part has to be six six feet and the short part has to be three feet that's a I huge can, okay, tank. Okay. I will say, I will say though, I respect that's a that. ball no, python yeah. bin. I respect yeah. that. That's you, a rack. That is. Know. I'm serious. Like a CV70 for a, an a adult ball python. But it's not foot. one bin. No, I'm, I'm talking about a, uh, a ball, like a ball python. Uh, they didn't have any height requirements. Well, because they don't, True. they don't do this. They don't. If the top of the rack. <laughs> oh, you're right. Right. Snakes don't climb. They, they stay in the yeah. on the that's floor the in the in the bin. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Like the burrow, like the termite mound, the burrow. Yeah. What were you saying, Chuck? You were so fucking stupid. You, you were saying something you were gonna you. lie about right I now. I fucking hate you, bro. I fucking hate you. But that's a bad requirement. But if they did like requirements right, so many things would change. The keep, the keeping of animals would go up. The betterment of animals would go up. And larger enclosures, more aesthetic enclosures, and even uh, uh, more enriched enclosures would come yeah, up. You're that's a, a good law to it's fucking not a, pass. It's not a bad one. And then what, U.S. Suck is fighting it. No, I think they. I, I think, think it's just fighting. an alert. I think they were just like, "Hey, this is what's going on." If it's an yeah. if, if it's an alert and it's I written like, in red, I like U.S. Arc for that and U.S. Arc Florida. They go ahead and say, "Hey, this is new legislation coming about. Stay stay aware." You know, like, hey guys, learn about this. Go I don't think it was like a negative or a positive. It was just like, hey, this is. It what's was one happening. of their regular alerts. They they always say about new pet regulations yeah. all the oh, time. We're getting we're getting a note from a rando in the audience uh, because we film in front of a live <laughs> studio audience that it seemed like if it was a negative alert. Okay. It, it does seem like it a always negative comes alert. off like that. Yeah. yeah, it's all written in red and shit. It's my like, right to do whatever I want with my reptiles because it's your property. They don't know what they're talking about. So they're saying, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. They should. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. So they're saying pretty much like, oh, you don't know snake requirements. Come on, we know I, I snake know. requirements. That's fucking stupid. They really are gonna try That's to fight fucking it. stupid. They're gonna fight okay, it. so this is a uh, from US Ark official. This is the comment on the post: A government agency or politician using arbitrary numbers and without consulting those actually affected or who work in that field is not how government policy should work. Newsflash it is. <laughs> if you are okay with the government making your decisions for you, most people are, and telling you how to do things that you know more about than they do, feel free to have your opinions and roll over to government outreach. This is your prerogative. This is this regulation no overhaul should have incorporated a working advisory group and it did not. Look, I... <laughs> All the laws that are made, they don't care about your opinions. They're not getting like that's 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 it's the law. It's the law. That's one, but also the reason they protect things like that is because they know that breeders that keep animals in minimalistic enclosures are going to be affected, and their money is going to be affected. Four by shut the fuck up, (laughs) shut the fuck up. Those breeders are going to be affected, so they want to protect the people no matter what. Yeah, where that law benefits the animal. Like, I don't really give a fuck for the yeah, breeders if it benefits the animal. I'm sorry. I'm an I animal agree. person. I'm not a breeder person. I'm not a people person. I'm an animal person. You got to remember, I do not too, give a fuck. You've never bred before? <laughs> I bred before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't make me a breeder. Yeah. You could breed me. <laughs> you know what it also says, too, is like, uh, as if you are a breeder and as snakes grow up, that that applies to juveniles. And as they grow up, you have to provide the enclosure. It's not a bad you ball. Should. It's not. I don't. I don't, I don't disagree. I mean, if the animal is growing, yeah. it should get into a larger enclosure. That is? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. they're going to be kept in the six sports. Yeah. We're going to keep in the six sports. Yeah. Like, if, let's say that was in Florida. Like, most people that have, like, class three animals don't have a class three as it is. The people that are only getting checked are mostly the people that have class threes and are actually breeding and have the big facilities with hundreds of animals in little tubs full of pee. Mm. Pee pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. So, I don't know. It doesn't sound bad to me. Yeah. This is, is where I disagree with you, Ark. 
This things like this is where yeah. I disagree. Yeah, they're I don't fight, think. And you know what it? though? Yeah. So so here's my okay. thing. Here's my thing. They go ahead and say it's government outreach because the public wasn't or not the public, the experts weren't consulted. I would say okay. Who are the experts? What the breeders? Is, no, no, no. Listen, I'm, I would say what is your recommendation then, U.S. Ark? You guys, I'm assuming, are made up of reptile keepers. I'm sure you guys consider yourselves experts if you guys are fighting this law. What are your enclosure requirements? Guess what? They won't have, they won't any. have any. They won't have any because they won't it affects have the people that exactly. support them. And the government exactly. only knows it's not about the bad shit that's happening. It's not about it's government overreach. and all that shit, too. So that's yeah. what they have to go off of. Yeah, They're not going to go government on fucking Brian's Morphs or whatever like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to go and like look through their... Acronym yeah. exotics. Acronym exotics. That yeah. shit. Like, the government doesn't know what's going on. They just yeah. see the news. They see all this stuff yeah. that's happening with all these berms but, and shit. Um, and my point is that they, U.S. Arc wouldn't even put their own regulations. Because they're they scared. Don't, they could they post don't it. have regulations. They don't they give don't. a fuck. They, they just want to protect think, anybody that breeds in whatever, however you yeah. breed, that's okay. You think two-thirds is too big? Okay, say a half. And they're going to say... Say if, a third. Say you, anything. And if you were to talk to them, they'd be like, no, we do have yeah. like requirements, but you won't say what they are. No, no. No, they won't. They won't. You won't say what they are. You're like, yeah. no, we want them to be good, but like... Yeah. <laughs> Too not much that government. Good. No. Yeah, too, too much <laughs> government is not good because businesses. I don't give up. But yeah, uh, Tino, I know that you wanted to talk about a like an or was it Eric about an anaconda species or some shit? Yeah, I, I think Eric will know a little bit more. But it was interesting. I don't know anything. That's a new what article. I, was, I, was, I, yeah. I wanted to talk about. Well, with somebody you guys. said. Yeah, somebody said out. anaconda species, and I was yeah. like, yeah. who? New is article that? came out. People are saying there's now two species of green agonda. Yes, green anaconda. Green anaconda. Two green anaconda species. One that is like. When you see like the very, very large anaconda species, apparently that's that, that species, species, yeah, that's like Columbia. a northern species or whatever. Columbia. And then it's like, oh, and then the rest of them are the other one. Yep. It's a species that, okay, so this is what happened. It's a, the two species were thought to be one. So a lot of those are even in captivity and they've been in captivity. But the reason they're two different species is because the two localities of them are very different, one in size. Uh, and then also genetically, they're so they've been separated for so long, like their habitats do not. I remember that. Overlap. Are they, where are yeah. they geographically? Uh, the big one I think is Colombia. I forgot where the other one just is, wherever the rest of the greens yeah, are. Probably yeah, probably still okay. the Amazon rainforest. So it's like a Brettles carpet situation. Yeah, kind of, but look very, very, very similar. Actually, one of the mm-hmm. things that they said, I think the article was that these two lines had been separated for so long that they were further apart than like some. I think I, I don't saw wanna, that too. I don't yeah. want. I don't want to say specifically, but it was like a difference of like pythons versus boas, mm-hmm. like a, a distinction wow. that. No, old. he went too far. But maybe, yeah. maybe, <laughs> no, no, maybe no, but like they compared, they compared like, two yeah. lines that it was like, yeah, no, they're it's they're, they're, closer they're, than they're this different is. from each other, like extremely different. Like they are for sure not the same thing. But to go as far as python and boas, no, like that's, that's, why, that's why I that used an families. example. Yeah, that that's why families. I used an example. So an they're, example. they're, yeah, they're unrelated, but they've always existed. We've I always had cool. them. We've always seen them. They just finally looked into it and found. Yeah, okay. what, what do you guys know exactly what it is that they were like? Oh, this is what the difference is. Well, genetically, there's I forgot what the points were called, and there's more points there than us and some uh, bonobos and shit like that. Like they're that different. I think that was and then the size comparison. Yeah, and then the size was another one. Mm. So I don't know. It's arbitrary. They, they're still looking into like any other differences. That's cool. Like other than that. Yeah. I like when cool. we do science on like stuff that we already know. Then we find yeah. out that we don't know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> like the Nile crocodile in the West yeah. African. They were the same like thing for many years, and now we're like, wait, actually, it's happened before though, and sometimes it just didn't hold up. People are like, no, they're the same thing, and sometimes to this day, there's still debate over yeah. it. Yeah, in, in, for example, eastern indigos. Some people are still on their ass about a Gulf Coast species of eastern indigo. Gross. It's like, no, no. I mean, it, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not with, a taxonomist. I'm not a microbiologist. With the, but with the Nile crocodile in the West African. Uh, the guy, there was a guy studying them, and before he finished the study, he died. Oh, damn. So, for many years, like nobody continued it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then somebody picked his study up and finished it. And that's why it's called the Halls New Guinea Crocodile because of the Halls. It's, it's cool. the scientist that started it many years ago. Fascinating. So, cool. New species. Love that shit. Hell yeah. Speaking of new species. San Francisco, California has a new invasive species. They do have a new invasive Yay. species. Uh, can you guess what it is? Do you Pokies. know what it is? A toad. Close. Do you know? You, you already knew what I it was. I saw it. Do you know was, what it was? Yeah. A frog. It, I was. It's I said Koki as a joke, but it's like a frog, a frog. I think. It's a frog. Oh, the bullfrog. Yep. American bullfrogs. bullfrogs. 
but and it's now, American. Yes, it's from here. <laughs> okay. No, okay. 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 Like, okay. And when I say new invasive species discovered, I think they saw one. Biologists saw one and were scared. Oh, they were like, boy. Geez, if, the, if those things are out here, like, bad idea. You know, bad, the bad, West okay, okay. has very sensitive wildlife. Yeah. I've come California? to find out. Yeah, the, the West. West. Oh, oh, the West. The whole West. Yeah. Like it's that dry. Whole. There's barely anything moving <laughs> know, around. Bro. So whenever there is something and it dies, it's a big fucking deal. Can you, okay, so specifically with the with that frog, what it, what specific impact do you think it's going to it would have oh. it's going to clear to me. all other frogs in that area it's yeah. the same reason the cubans take over the neighborhoods they eat everything they're bigger than everything cuban tree frogs cuban yes. tree frogs yes. yeah yeah, yeah. relax people, buddy the with the fucking, like, Miami, that's miami's bullfrogs will also Up eat here's the puerto ricans bullfrogs will also eat small mammals so if they find like a nest they'll eat small mammals yeah. they'll also eat snakes Mike. and uh insects <laughs> fish i mean whatever moves yo Michael. you know sorry my fucking, bad yeah. michael <laughs> michael <laughs> Whatever moves, they're gonna eat it. So that's the even that's the, the mic. Bad they'll thing. eat the mic too because it's moving. They'll eat so the much. mic too. Yeah, that's, that's a around. big frog. How do you think it got there? Uh, the plant. <laughs> you know, no, plants is no, a horrible no, idea. No, but it's no, like a pet pets. trade. Bro. It's likely pets. But then no, again, like who? Uh, no, not no. many people are keeping wait, wait, American no. bullfrogs. Yes. Was it pets? I don't think so. What do you think it was? People aren't giving American That sometimes is farm for meat. True, that is true. What? Oh, like frog legs? Yes, that's the frog. That is that's the frog. But in the states. Yeah, yeah dude. California. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I bet you it's something like that. I bet you it's something like that. I think I've eaten them before. Ew. That, interesting. You said what? I've eaten them before. What did his? What did it taste like? Chicken. That's what they That's always what say. Says. Yeah, I it's hate just that meat. Shit. Everything is meat. I bet. It depends how you season. You it. love meat. It just depends <laughs> how you season it. Everything tastes like fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken. You can get uh, bullfrog legs off a of rodent pro. Bullfrog legs off of rodent pro? Yeah. That's insane. Like to eat or for like... <laughs> well, for a snake. For I, a I, guess, I don't think anything stops you from eating them. Except like, I don't know. You have free will. <laughs> <laughs> you have free will. You can. Uh, I don't advise it, but yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, so crazy. new invasive species. Here we go. Frog laws coming in. Oh, man. Frog laws are Please. crazy. Dude. <laughs> yeah. We need the Cuban tree frogs out. I actually had a nightmare. They're never, they're never like, leaving. Maybe a month ago or something. About frogs? No, about invasive Asian water monitors in Florida. Ooh, hey, That's what you dream you about? Knock I don't know. Some that sounds like a nightmare to yeah, me, right? Yeah, it is a little nightmare, yeah. That's it is a nightmare. nightmare it's scary. Like when you, it's a stress mare, a stress mare. Now where you're scared of the situation, but you wake up and you're like sweating, you're like, oh, fuck, yeah, one of those, one of those. I mean, we have Niles. Not a, yeah, but they're, they're stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck. No. It's they're different than Asians. Let's go get some. That'd be fire. Asian water crazy. monitor specifically to be no, exact. Niles. When you a- a- when you ended just with it's just Asian. Yeah, I've been canceled that was for that crazy. before. <laughs> yeah, I've been canceled Sorry, for that Asian before. Asian water monitors. You got to finish the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah canceled yeah. for Cubans. A couple weeks ago, I mean, I don't know. I don't think we spoke about it on the last podcast, but didn't some dude die from like yes. a Gila monster bite? Some, I don't think we. I don't. Did bro, we speak we about, speak it, about yet? it yet? It's so crazy because the last few weeks we keep like we just got our Gila's and we're like. Oh yeah, nobody has that from them. Oh yeah, nobody has that from <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, nobody. Uh, somebody yeah. super dead. Yep, that's crazy. Do we know anything about the situation? No, I, I don't. But I want to know if he had any underlying like Condition? health issues. He yeah, had to. maybe he had to. Maybe he was possible. Probably, like a little fat or something. Maybe that I don't think that is an allergic not... reaction because <laughs> people would have said allergic reaction. Yeah, maybe old. That's an old I people. I don't know. Animal. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I feel like first of all, that's a slow lizard. If you get bit by that thing, yeah, I mean, you are <laughs> slow. Let's say that. Or I mean, maybe it was just extremely aggressive. No, that dude, specific one. Yoshi, shut the. Fuck I don't know, up. bro. I'm trying to think that's of what, all the things. That's no. you should shut the fuck up. What is that? They bite one? like this. They bite like this. No, no. <laughs> what if that one was? You know how we have visual mutations. What if that one was like that a was meta, different. like a meta mutation, a, a meta lizard, a meta lizard, like a meta human, like in DC, like the Flash. Yeah. What if that was the Flash of Hilo? You know, Shut sometimes up. diet, Maybe. diet can affect uh, venom potency or like the specific proteins. Found Maybe it was venom. Either eating other I mean, Hilo. I don't know. No, no. But like maybe a little thing like that. Changed a little bit of the venom, and maybe he also had an underlying condition. Super venom, and both of those at the same time, random event. You maybe know, he let that's him kill possible. Him. Super venom is crazy. unless they do like an autopsy on this man, they're not gonna know. It's also possible that he let that lizard kill him. What does that even mean? Like he purposely got this is bit. all People so insane. Okay, but they, they, they don't die. They don't die. Maybe this guy did. I don't know. He got bit in the I'm, neck or something. How heavy Dude, was he? It is like it is like someone. It came out suddenly that a false water cobra killed somebody. Oh god! It is like that. It's like no people don't die from this animal. That's crazy. Well, what's, what's somebody what, did? What's the like the general reaction from like the mainstream? Are they just like, oh, this fucking evil lizard? Is it or was it just like a 
This guy died from this. Uh, you know what? Was it in captivity or was it on the water? It was captivity. It was captivity. Crazy. It was, it, they, so it pet trade. You guys are shit. Yeah. That's what they thought. I mean, maybe I don't think and there's already just as much regulation on them, at least in Florida, as with other venomous. No, states. there are regulations on them everywhere. Yeah, every state. Well, I don't they're, know if every like, state has the same regulations. Well, every like, state right is venomous. protected as fuck. No, it's protected, but I'm saying like if the same like oh to keep like the same requirements in order to keep to keep. Well, maybe not, but even to get them in is fucking yeah. Normal. No, yeah, impossible. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I don't think it has that many effects because it's a freak accident. If all of a sudden people start dying from helibites, now we got questions. Well, I guess it, it also, I guess, just depends on how you deal with specific, like, venom and yeah, stuff like venom that. Yeah, venom affects we, we, differently. We, we spoke about it literally a couple weeks ago with the fucking cat eye snake Actually, or whatever. There was someone that same who posted uh, a false water bite uh, and like you can see, like it, it looks like a regular venomous reaction. Like he got swelling, it yeah, started, dark. it busted. It was there was necrosis, yeah, there was red. Enough. He got he like busted. the blood lines. On <laughs> he the, busted, uh, dude. No, the, the finger busted. He finger busted. I hate dude. you. I hate you. <laughs> Yo. And like the lines in his hand started to bleed and started to hemorrhage, and it's like that's crazy. From a false water cobra. From a false water cobra. That's a and I mean, yeah, everybody. Cobra. I mean, I don't think his life was in danger, but at the same time, it's like. That that shouldn't That's be crazy. happening. That's crazy. Hey, better watch out for those hogs. Pause. They'll do that to you. <laughs> the hogs. <laughs> Anywho, um, I know that there's another thing on our uh, topic list. I don't know how much we want to talk about it, or if we want to just go into Eric building his outside enclosure. But this hit reptiles guy. Was that the the, the PDF? The, P, the PDF. Uh, the PDF file, file. JPEG. Yeah. The JPEG. JPEG. Yeah. Um, I don't know too much about a, like specifics. Well, I but mean, either. look, your criminal records are public. They're public yeah. information. I just Anybody think it's can funny. access them. It's, it's just funny. It, is it? They're coming out left and right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say this because we don't know much on the topic, but I'm gonna say these two things. If you're a, a oh. PDF file, or if you are a a JPEG, you know, a grape, a you grape, know, a grape or whatever. <laughs> You need to. That was close. I was no, gonna say that. No, that was real close. <laughs> you need to. You need to know that those things come out, and there's consequences for those things. Yeah, hundred percent. And the consequences are you are out, yep. and not only out of the industry, you're out of society. Like society does not accept you. Nobody fucking likes you, and yeah, fall down a hole. Yeah, you're a waste of yeah. human breath. And usually, I will also say this too. I feel like. Obviously, the severity of the crimes changed this for me, of course. But like, sometimes parts of me is like, "Oh, he did the he did the time," you know. Oh, what the? Not in the this sympathizer. Instance. Not in this. <laughs> instance. No, not in this instance. Yo, the no, no, are you Catholic? Instance. Instance. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeez, I'm just Yo, saying, this like, is wild. In other instances where people commit crimes, it's like you know what? They served their time. They did their thing. They Gino's they paid the punishment. Out, bro. No, this is listen, different. This listen, is different. One hundred percent. This listen. is not okay. Yeah, you listen. should lead with that next yeah, time. No, no, listen, 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 listen. I said listen, the severity listen, changes. Listen, listen, listen. My father killed people. Oh, God. Okay, here we go again. My father killed. This people. guy loves talking and about his murder. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that's way less than what these. No, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Like I don't. I of course. Honestly, if it was by me, gas and bolt gun. Let's get the it. Bolt gun. The bolt, bolt gun. gun. Bring Where's it out. FWC when you need them. Take literally. Up the yeah. Yeah. That that that's pretty rough. Um, now this is this is a uh, little little controversial. Uh, oh. Here we go. Wait 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 oh, wait wait. No. No, 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 no. Put a timestamp on Do this you right think, now. <laughs> if there's think, like a random clip on this, it's because we couldn't fucking. Do you post think it. there's many of them out there? Many, Many of, of what? what? Like people oh, in the reptile industry yes. that oh, are brother. 100% PDFs. Dude. Look at them. You're so look at them. Oh, look so at them. You're look so at the way they look, Tino, Tino, bro. Tino, Tino, you're acting like you've never set foot in a reptile show. Yeah, the I reptile, they, they literally are missing teeth. They have a whole bunch of deli cups. There's always the one dude. That's right. Yeah, they we're always have. Kinking, we're a kinking bro, listen, world, listen, listen, dude. Listen, listen. If you see people look different now. You're so stupid. If you see an old man with like Pokemon tattoos, <laughs> deli cups in front of him. Yo, I literally have Pokemon <laughs> tattoos. I'm going to be an old man one day. You better stop right there. That's so funny. Anyways, Eric built an outside enclosure. <laughs> he was building stuff about outside. You. We're not talking about me. This is weird. I don't like where this conversation is going. It wasn't an attack against you, bro. I swear. He was like, oh, if there's like a five foot two guy that's old, his knees no, hurt. No, no. He has a so name weird. like that belongs in Super Mario. I don't know why. That's so no, funny. No, no, no. It's okay. We're talking about someone who doesn't write prices on his stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anywho, Eric, you built an outside enclosure. Yeah, me and my dad, we built a little pen outside for my sulcata. Welcome. What else is going on? What? Welcome. Welcome to the outside keeping. Bro, I've been keeping outside. That's not outside, bro. The porch is is not outside. I'm sorry. The porch is not outside. I'm fucking sorry. Out of the porch exotics. Oh, there you go. What else are you keeping in it? Um, so it's a little 10 by 6 area. I'm keeping... Six silicone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, bro. Is that one two-thirds pen, length? <laughs> one pen, six sulcatas, right? Okay. Um, I'm keeping the sulcata, obviously. Pectinata. Hermans. All my turtles. Pectinata? Yeah. How are you going to keep a pectinata in little, there? Little baby. Iguanarium, it's, when it grows up, build something No, different. no, no. It's just, it's just hanging around in there. Yeah. They're all cohabbing. Bro, yeah, you know how they got to Florida, right? <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the black the, spinies? The plants, right? No, the black spinies. You know how they... The pets? Yeah. Oh, you know, you the know, pets of trade? No, 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 the pets you, of trade? Yeah, you know how they got to Florida? <laughs> how? No name, but... Oh, boy. There's a place... Where On Ocean decided, Avenue? They decided to put a pit and put them in there, not knowing that they could climb. Oh, Wait, what are you God. talking about? The How the so black spiny tail got to Florida. I, I, that confused the Hold on. fuck out of me. There is a place that they put a pit. What was the point of the pit? To keep the iguanas <laughs> to keep in. To keep the iguanas in. <laughs> to keep the arboreal lizard out, you know? Oh, I understand now. Yeah. I understand. I understand now. Yeah. Yep. God. Anywho, so they weren't smart about, either. <laughs> tell me more about your pit. My pit? Yeah. Oh, don't. It wasn't me. I'm telling you right now. Okay, okay. Um, no, it's a little, we me and my dad, we built a little 10 by 10 by six out of wood, mm-hmm. some blocks, um, chicken wired it. It's just a basic outdoor enclosure, keeping my sulcata out there. Um, it is going to be a little tough to make the roof cause I got to figure out how to coyote proof it. Cause there are coyotes around here. Um, there's also raccoons and stuff that are going to get into everything. So that is my next task. I have some ideas of what I, I want to do with it, you but scared of them? what? Really? My yeah, tortoise yeah, yeah. is this big. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small tortoise. I'm not scared of the coyotes. I'm scared of How what they can digging? do to my... What? Digging. The chicken wire. He put oh, chicken wire at the bottom. Yeah, there's chicken wire at the bottom. I'm also going to get some more... But he bought this... So lame. This guy bought the largest fucking chicken wire ever it's not you know how we you know we usually buy like the yeah, little skins yeah, yeah. it's like this much space dude That's i'm so a little funny. tight on money bro so <laughs> listen, your hermans are gonna be exploring listen, dude no, what your hermans are gonna be exploring oh listen, yes sir bro. let them dig <laughs> i am more more i'm not done it's gonna be you like you saw the ones i worked with there's a hole oh, in there yeah. they don't leave Yo, oh, we got a feature right now, dude. Oh, that's Nyla. I don't know if she's coming it. out in the video, but... Hi, Nyla. Hey, Nyla. Hey, Nyla. Anywho. You're going in with the tortoises, Nyla. This man <laughs> yes, loves yes. This <laughs> man loves cohabbing. Yeah, but pretty much everything <laughs> with a shell is going to be outdoors. Except okay. for this guy. Talk to me. He's staying inside. He's okay. My boy. Um, but I'll, I'm going to put three stripes out there. Diamond back. All the, uh, all the, the side necks. Closure? Yes, all in the cohabbing. same enclosure. Yeah. No, in a forty-gallon. <laughs> no yeah. fucking day geckos way, too. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. Um, They're gonna geckos. be sick. Yeah. How are you gonna put day geckos out there with the turtles? Chuck, the are you not <laughs> listening? I, I will punch you right now. Bro. <laughs> That's so funny. I will hit you with bro, a left It's hook. simple. How 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 do we keep them in the wild? Like, just bro, let them out. Just let him out. I will punch you. <laughs> in a four by six, he's gonna keep keep. He's gonna keep. He's gonna keep. keep six fucking day geckos in a four by six, Chuck. Yeah, come on, that's fine. That's too much space. That's too, too much. much space. They'll stress oh, out. He's, right. he's gonna do it for free with the sticks the that are outside. Yes. Are you, are you gonna like, clean them first? Are they no. Dirty? No. Are you kidding me? You gonna leave the sticks the, dirty. Dude, the water <laughs> cost money. Cancel this man right now. Get on his YouTube channel and just shit on him. <laughs> no, it's gonna be great. Do we have anything else? I think that was it. Wait, hold on, hold on. You Wait. guys saw the Macaw shit I sent y'all? Oh, oh. yes. Yes. No. Okay, well, so happened. obviously... Specifically, it's blue and gold Macaw. Yeah. You and I, I, I literally went to where you work like two days ago, okay? And you were telling me about how people cannot keep a lot of these animals, these larger parrots, because they can be aggressive. That's a nasty fucking bite. So to avoid mm-hmm. them getting out... They release them. No, to avoid the the animals being released, oh. they donate them <laughs> they to specific them. places yeah. to avoid issues. Yeah, I know that that uh, blue and gold macaws have been you know out and about in Miami. I used to see them fly all the time where yeah. I where I used to live. So now go and, and talk. So about this. there are pushes by citizens down oh, there yeah. to go ahead and put in measures to protect these animals. Oh my god! You know, and it's like I. 
I'm 100% on board with animal rights. You know, 100%. I'm down. Invasive or not, I think animals have rights. You shouldn't be abusing them. You shouldn't be fucking uh, killing them with bows and arrows or boiling them alive. Animals deserve citizenship. Don't do that stuff, you know. (laughs) With that said, it is funny how people are like, oh, we don't really care that they're invasive. We like them. They're cute. We're going to keep them. They're cuddly. We're okay with this one, not the other one. They love using the word non-native for those. Yeah. Yeah. They they love the word non-native. Oh, well, because they they say that they're not I will say both sides are hypocrites. Both sides, reptile, reptiles, hypocrites, bird people, hypocrites, these people, hypocrites. No, these are random people. Because these are not bird people. it is all a fucking problem because they're like, oh, there's no evidence. Same thing that U.S. Ark says. There's no evidence that they cause any damage. And then what are we going to do? Release everything and see if it causes damage? No. We need to stop that shit. I literally want to go down there and I trap all them bitches in front of that bitch's house. Yeah. Let that bitch know who the fuck I is. Yep. Who are you? I'm him. <gasps> oh, God. Dun, dun. This is, I think it's dumb. That. Why? I think it is sad that the double standard is. Oh, it's very sad. It's wrong, you know. It's what wrong, but at the same standard? time, no, because like the people will lose their shit over an iguana in the yard, and then the they'll... same people, the yeah. same, same people, people that are whoa, feeding whoa, the whoa. peanuts to the fucking macaw in the back. That's what I'm that had the iguanas in the fine, front. Fine, fine. Yeah, they protect true. the Muscovy ducks. That they protect true. the capybara. Yeah, that is true. But it's Cats. not to point fingers. Everybody should be on the same page. No, of gay, Chuck, all of them out. Chuck, what, all of them. We're, out. we're not saying n- negative to these fucking iguanas. We're saying just keep the same energy. The same no. way that you're saying that, oh, yeah. we need to have the Keep same the energy. Same energy. We're saying same energy, dog. Keep the same energy. Same energy. That is not the same. I energy. agree, hundred percent. Because yeah. U.S. Ark and reptile motherfuckers are like protect the iguanas, and it's like, but look over there, a no. cat. Look over there, a I, cat. I think that I think that you really undermine the fact that a lot of reptile keepers say that yeah we are saying yes there isn't a problem with iguanas yeah the thing is reptile keepers say that it's not their that's fault a lie. that's a lie that's a lie different well, that's one of the problems yeah all reptile the keepers are like yeah we need to get rid of the the invasive species they shouldn't be there but they'll also be the first to say not our, not our fault not our fault i think most when of them all don't. the iguana and tegu shit was going around that's what yeah. they were saying they're like no, no no this is a problem the only thing is that they said it wasn't their fault yes they said it wasn't their fault they're like well technically they don't really cause any harm that's what I hear. Yeah. Watch the USR podcast again, buddy. Which one? The one with us, yeah. Yeah. Daniel. No, we did. Where where can where can people find that? <laughs> On every streaming platform. That, that matters. matters. All right, goodbye. We're so funny.